Well, I think you've caught something. I can't help noticing that you have an anteater with you, Mr. Da. Oh, oh, please. Of the logarithmic curve of cauliflower. The what? Logarithmic a spiral of oh, yes. cauliflower. The logarithmic curve, yes. And in the same time, the logarithmic a spiral in the horn of rhinoceros. In this time, discover this is the symbol of chastity, one of the most powerful symbols of modern times. Are, are you somehow inspired by an anteater? Uh, it... Yes, because rhinoceros and it ants is the only two animals angelic. And it's an angelic animal? Angelic animal. Look, can we get a look at him? He's really great. I, I, because, I don't mean... Because oh, the, I... the tongue. The tongue is exactly represent the molecular structure of desoxyribonucleic acid. Well, I, I think we all agree on that. I... <laughs> Blood, symbolic blood, and milk, again, milk of today born, and some symbolic fish of Mediterranean people. D Mr. Mr. Dolly, I must say that I find you, uh, your, your accent a bit difficult, so if you would speak slowly for me, it would be, uh, be nice. Because uh, uh, my English is a uh, little is the accent of Catalonian language, you know? As one needs, for instance, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Miss Gish. Miss Gish. Yes. You, you, uh, Voulez-vous être gentil de dire uh, papillon in, in good English? Butterfly. Papillon. Oh, sorry. Uh, papillon? Yes, in English. It's a butterfly. You look in, in Dalinian English. Butterfly. <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> no, because, no, because he represents, uh, you know, the uh, uh, English language is too foggy and imprecise and it's necessary to inject, so it needs more inject some feeling. reality mm -hmm. in this foggy and imprecise. Mm -hmm. English language. 